Okay, this is episode two in how to import media. In this episode, I'm going to be importing some media, but I'm going to be using under the file project settings, these ingest settings, taking advantage of these ingest settings here. Now, if I check mark this ingest here, what this does is when you plug media into your computer, say that you uh, are shooting some footage and you're out in the field and you want to start editing that footage immediately, but you don't want to, want to wait for it to transfer from the camera card over to uh, your computer. What you can do is you can tell it, uh, you can check mark and just and tell it to copy. And what copy is going to do is it'll start copying the footage over, but you are want, it'll start copying the footage over immediately when you import it. However, you will but you will be able to start editing with it and it'll start transferring it in the background after you import it directly from the card. So you can start editing immediately even though your footage hasn't been transferred over yet. And down here it's going to tell you where it's going to be uh, putting the footage at. So you can go to primary destination and change this and say I'm going to uh, choose a location. I want my footage to transfer over to this hard drive here. I'm going to go into this hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder. And all right, field footage this is the footage that I'm, I'm making a new project folder here that I'm going to be saving the footage into. So I'm going to select that folder, and that's the location it will start copying over the folder. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to uh, double click in here and find the footage that I want to import. I'm going to go to here's my Canon card right there that I stuck into the camera. Or the, here's the Canon SSD that I stuck into the computer here. I'm going to go under DCIM. Uh, this is where my Canon footage is kept right here. I'm going to import these movie files here. Hit open. And it will immediately import them into my project. But keep in mind that these files are still on my SSD card. But now what it's doing here, you'll notice that the media encoder is opening up. And all the footage that I just imported, it is transferring them over, it is copying them over to my hard drive. But now what I can do is start editing these. And it's going to be edited. If they haven't been transferred yet, they're going to be edited off of my SSD card. But when, as I'm editing here, I can keep on editing and everything will be transferred over in the background. So if I go to Media Encoder, it's transferring in the background, but in the for, but in Premiere here, it's actually editing off of my solid state drive, not my hard drive that I'm tra transferring it to. Once that's done, then it will move. Once those have been transferred over, then it is accessing my hard drive and no longer accessing accessing the SSD card. So this is kind of a nice little feature if you're out in the field and you want to start editing immediately and not wait for your footage to transfer over to your hard drive to start editing. You can start editing immediately off of the uh, off of your camera's SSD, and in the background it will be copying it over to your hard drive, and it does it pretty seamlessly. The other settings in the ingest settings here are transcode, create proxies, and copy and create pro proxies. So the next two here are basically used for if you have transferred your footage off of your SSD manually and you're going to be transcoding them or creating proxies. I've got a whole different, I have whole different episodes on creating proxies. If you have footage that's such high quality that your computer can't keep up with it, you can create proxies and then you can edit with the lower quality uh, files and then reattach them to the high quality files when you're done editing. Uh, so that's what transcoding and creating proxy is. But then you also have those copy and create proxies. This one is used for if you are importing footage directly, once again, off of your camera's SSD and you want to start editing immediately, it'll be copying and creating proxies in the background while you are editing your footage. So right here, I'm just going to use this preset of lower quality, uh, 1020 by 540 uh, GoPro Cineform quality that's going to be encoding when I import footage. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to delete all my footage here. And I'll import that again and show you what happens. Select my footage, import it, and that's directly off of my camera card that's plugged into my computer right now. So now I can grab my footage and drop it onto my timeline and start editing this footage. And in the background, it is open. It, it is opening up Media Encoder, and now it is encoding these to proxy footage, and it will also copy over my media to my hard drive that I've selected. So now I'm going to have proxy footage and my media has been copied over, but now I can come in here and start editing right away while it's doing that in the background. And that about covers it for importing media and using the ingest settings. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching.